Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another H Bahedera price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments here on the H Bahedera chart and before I kickstart the video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel then also check out the channel membership and allow me to kickstart the video here on the daily chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that H Bahedera from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an autumn high at around the 0.59 dollar mark in what i'm terming as a higher edu 12 count one to the upside and after seeing the all-time high we started the bear market where we have been seeing lower prices which has now taken us back to around the 0.0356 dollar mark in what i'm terming as a higher edu 12 count two to the lower side and after seeing the formation of a higher edu 12 count two whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edu 12 count three and that is what i'm expecting to play out on the long-term scenarios and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.9561 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I would expect H bar to do in the next bull market and once we see a recovery to the upside in the formation of that higher educative country that I'm expecting to play out on the long term scenarios by jumping to the 1 hour chart for further analysis and also give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the one hour chart you can see that down here this is where we made our low at around the 0.0356 dollar mark and after seeing that low we have been seeing a very nice bounce to the upside which has been obeying the edu 12 structures and if I have my edu 12 structures on this chart we can have this as the first wave to the upside then we saw this as the second wave then I'm expecting the formation of that wave 3 and I believe we in the formation of this wave 3 to the upside before we see a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to complete a higher edu 12 count 1 to the upside so once we see the formation of that higher edu 12 count 5 to come to a complete that will be a higher edu 12 count 1 to the upside and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.043 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I would expect that wave 3 to the upside to do and because a wave 3 to the upside is also an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see fractal waves in formation within that higher edu 12 count 3 and we might have started such a scenario here having this as the first wave to the upside then a wave 2 then this might be the wave 3 before we see a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to fully maximize the formation of that higher edu 12 count 3 to the upside so let's be patient and see how that plays out and also taking a look at the indicators here on the RSI on the RSI we are trading at around the 60 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side in the formation of that higher edu 12 count 3 also taking a look at the macd on the macd we have printed a bearish cross and we are also seeing an increase in the selling momentum so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated